We've got to rethink the way missions works today. UK has uh, a real challenge because we have a problem with Europe. We need to be aware of Christians in other countries in ways that we're perhaps not at the moment. perception from other parts of the world is that Europe is now relatively godless. And if you go to Montenegro, you see that there's only three churches in the entire country. If you go to Albania, you may have to meet 200 people before you meet a single Christian. There is perhaps a sense that uh, the experience of Christians in Britain might have something to offer. Just to connect with other churches, to stand alongside them, pray for them, encourage them. Let's change Europe for Jesus. Through the whole of the history of Europe, Christianity has been a very, very significant part. It's probably the most significant influence on the identity of Europe. But it's had a negative impact as well, because that Christian culture has been seen as being a given. And uh, clearly that has inoculated many Europeans to the radical message and the call of Christ to repentance and faith. A number of years ago, I was reading a newsletter from a South African uh, missionary to Europe and uh, he wrote in his newsletter words that were something like this uh, as I pass through the cities of Europe I see the teeming millions and the empty churches and I realize that Europe is a mission field. What we need to remember for today is increasingly the culture of the church and the culture of European society is getting further and further apart. I think one of the features of the decline of uh, Christendom in Europe has been that in most places it's been slow it's been a gradual attritional decline over many decades and so it's to use the familiar analogy of the frog in the kettle um, the water has gradually increased in temperature but we haven't noticed there's a very important sense in which Europe is only Europe because of the Christian story uh, in fact if you just look at a map of Europe uh, you notice that Europe is actually just a peninsula of Asia and so it's incredibly important that Europe rediscovers its Christian heritage, but not just as a heritage, not just as a museum piece, but as something that's living and alive for the generations of today. Whatever strategy you take must have the church at the center of it. But increasingly today, we've got to start, let's say this is the church, we have to start further out in a way of bringing them in. You need to meet people's needs, and then as, as they see the love being expressed, real relationships grow. And then from those real relationships, we can move naturally to talking about the reason we're loving is there is a God who loves us. I think some of the most effective strategies are to work through local indigenous Christians. These people have been brought up and lived in their communities all their lives. They know exactly the needs, they know the cultural mindset. I think also alongside that, we need missionaries sent out there, obviously, um, to stand alongside them and work alongside them. But the key thing is to actually have people who know the community that they're working in. Uh, context is hugely important. And so working with those who live in a context, understand that context, speak the language, know the people, is tremendously important. Something wonderful happens uh, in that kind of partnership. So indigenous Christians are incredibly important. Um, especially when they can learn to work in creative partnership with those who come with gifts from outside. People need support, people need someone behind them praying for them, helping them financially in those countries that are poor. Let's pray for Europe, and it doesn't have to be complicated. Let's pray, our Father in heaven, bring your kingdom come in Europe today. It's impossible to tell British history without reference to Europe. Our culture, our history is united with Europe's history. 
But we have um, really internalized as British Christians the Eurosceptic argument. We need to be very careful of our attitude to Europe, that we don't fall into that same trap of looking down on Europeans and considering them as not like us. They are our Samaritans, they're the people that we need to reach with the Gospel. We have the Great Commission which calls us to do that from Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria to the ends of the earth. We need to take that and repent of any, any attitude that we might have about it and get involved in reaching Europeans that are there with us in our Europe today.